Hello, I'm Pablo Penas from Corsin, and today I'm going to talk about the C113 West Coast Timbre. It's a weight folder module that allows to create a complex waveforms using simple waveforms like sine waves or triangle waves. It features two wave folders based on two classical West Coast modular scenes, uh, Bukla and Serge. Uh, it's a really easy to use module, it's quite a straightforward, but you can get really interesting results uh, with it. So let's talk about the controls and the front panel. The first knob is the fold amount that can be controlled also by CB using this input and the knob controls the amount of modulation. A switch to select uh, which wave folder you want to use and a symmetry knob uh, to add uh, an offset to the input uh, to create a non-symmetrical wave folding. Um, this input has a, also a CB. The knob is internally connected to 5 volts but you overwrite this connection connecting uh, jack to the input. There's two inputs, uh, input 1 and input 2. Uh, the input 2 has a fixed attenuation of 50%. When you mix two waveforms, um, the signal became too complex, so it's better to have attenu attenuated uh, the input. There's also a BC8 with a CB control and an output, and of course the normal output. So let's see now how the module works. We have here a sine wave connected to the input 1. Let's see how it's affected by the wave folder. This one was the bucla mode, let's try the search mode. Let's see what happens when we use the attenuated input. Because wave folders are affected by the amplitude of the incoming signal, you don't get the same extreme results when you use the attenuated input than the normal input. Let's talk about now the symmetry input. Uh, as I said before, the symmetry input is internally connected to 5 volts, so you can add positive uh, offsets to the incoming signal uh, without anything connected to the input. As you can see, already has a bit of folding. Let's patch now a low frequency oscillator. As you can see, the results are similar to pulse width modulation. If you take a look to the block diagram in the user manual, you can see that the symmetry CB input is going to the same place as the two audio inputs. So in reality, you can use the symmetry CB input as another uh, audio input for the module. Uh, so the module has in reality three audio inputs. The symmetry CV can be used also as an attenuated audio input, as you can see. So keep 
in mind that you can use the Symmetry CV input as another audio input. One good thing about the C113 is that it has an internal BCA, so you don't need a, another external module to control the amplitude of the signal. So with just one, one BCO, uh, one envelope and the C113, uh, you can have a full voice uh, without any other module. Of course, it will be more complex using more modules, but you can have a full voice with just these three modules. So this is the Quest Coast Timbre, it's a pretty straightforward module, it's almost like a filter if you think about it, uh, it's really easy to use um, but the results are really interesting and you can create really complex waveforms, uh, really interesting waveforms that are not possible using uh, normal oscillators. Now I'm going to show some patches so you can see what kind of sounds you can create using this module. I hope you like it. Thank <laughs> you.